Cheers, and welcome to Bitter Reality Brewing. Yeah, drinking the hell out of the thylized West Coast IPA. I've been drinking even more of the thylized cold IPA. Both of those were brewed on the Blickman Brew Easy Compact, and both of them came out amazing. But if you watch me brew this video, the West Coast IPA, you know I had some problems. And one of them was an equipment problem with a Blickman device. And that's what this video is about. Don't forget, like, subscribe, keep sharing. Definitely appreciate the sharing. I've been recommending Anvil and Blickman shortly after buying my pot. I love my pot. I mean, that's my first Anvil product. It was a 10 gallon pot at brew kettle, whatever you wanna call it, but it's a pot. And the quality was amazing. Then eventually I decided, you know what? I had some, we'll just say another brand. All in ones, got rid of them, sold them, bought an Anvil Foundry, loved it, bought another Anvil Foundry because I love the first one so much. And I like to do a lot of experiments, as some of you know. So I'm always using, you know, one or two or more systems. <laughs> Sometimes not all on the same camera, but I enjoy it a lot. And when I'm in Facebook, Facebook has a Anvil Foundry support group, and John Blickman himself gets in there from time to time and just, you know, sees what's going on, talks to people, assists. But the big thing is, is he jumps in there and says, when there's a problem, hey, reach out to support, or hey, try this, or hey, yeah, we're aware of that. If you do this, that should fix it. Or hey, we're aware of it and there's a problem. Call us, we'll help you out. We'll get you taken care of, don't worry about it. Just the support I have seen from Anvil and Blickman, and yes, I use those words interchangeably. Anvil to me is a entry level to intermediate brewer. Blickman to me is an intermediate to advanced, although there's plenty of pro brewers out there I've heard of that are using Anvil systems. So it's really, it's what you enjoy using, whether it's being a test bed or your personal home system for brewing. But the support that I had seen had been great. And I had always recommended people who called me personally, texted, emailed, or had reached out to me and said, hey, I got a problem. I'm like, call Anvil, call Blickman, call them. Even people who are buying new equipment, call them, ask them questions so you can buy the right product the first time. They're there to assist you, they're there to help you. Then, yours truly had a problem. I was trying to do a Whirlpool, which you may have seen if you were watching the thylized 18.5 ounces, no boil hop edition beer, which I'm very happy, I enjoy it a lot. It came out great. But this beast, and yes, I call the Riptide a beast because it is a beast. I mean, you can get a workout, it chomps through the 18, well, I didn't have 18 and a half, I had, what was it, 12 and a half ounces of hops? Not a problem. Not even, didn't even flinch. Not a problem. The problem is that the Riptide is rated for temps as high as 248 Fahrenheit. Doesn't mean you want to run it at 248 Fahrenheit, but if you're doing a Whirlpool, which the Brew Easy Compact has a Whirlpool system, and a lot of the Blickman systems have types of Whirlpooling, you're going to be doing that Whirlpool somewhere between 210 Fahrenheit, most likely, all the way down to maybe say 150. I like 170, but I had recipes I had created and I was up around 194, which is what I was looking to do my Whirlpooling at. And shortly into the Whirlpool, the Riptide decided to stop working. I cool, cooled it off by turning it off, letting it sit, and it would start working again for a minute or two and it would freeze up again. So I reached out to Blickman and I said, hey, I don't know what's going on. Can you help me with this? I don't understand why it's stopping. You know, something's just literally stopping. And a nice gentleman by the name of Jarrett, may or may not know him, but Jarrett goes, I think I know what it is. It's either this or this. And I went, well, how do you know which one it is? Do you need me to send you a video? Do you need me to record something? What do you need from me? He's like, take a look at this. And he sent me a support video, and this is what blew me away. I've never seen an IT company do anything like this. I'm not promising Blick or Anvil will do this for you because, you know, sometimes there's different staff helping you. But he sent me a video with the pump and explained different things and asked if it's doing this or this. Guess who was in the video? The guy helping me, Jared. Yeah, he was the guy who shot the video. It was so excuse my language, freaking cool. Not only is the guy who helping me, he's the guy who did the video and he didn't do it personally for me. He, this is a video he uses for people who have this issue, but it just felt very personable. 
And that was awesome. I mean, that just really brought it home. That took the support to a whole new level for any company I've ever dealt with. And understand, I deal with Cisco, Dell, VMware, all the major companies out there when it comes to IT-related companies. Yeah, Blickman put them all to shame. The support was just beyond amazing. I was blown away. If they could have remoted into my pump and fixed it, that would have been, that would have been cool, but I don't think we can do that yet. So we figured out that the impeller was getting hot and it was rubbing and it was obviously a defect in the way it was made. He sent me a new impeller. I haven't tested. I haven't had a whirlpool to do. I'm pretty sure I'm good. I may eventually just take some water, get it up to boiling, bring it down and run it as a test. But yeah, just the support, hands down. I had been promoting it and I am very, very confident at promoting Blickman and Anvil support. The support was hands down the best I had ever seen. And like I said, I'm in IT and I've been doing IT for almost three decades. And yeah, there's a company we're spending 20 grand, my company I work with spends 20 grand every three months with, and the support is a freaking joke. So yeah, trust me on support. When it comes to support, I know what good support is and I know what awful support is, and Blickman hands down blew it away. So if you're looking to buy a product and you want the support and you wanna make sure there's a company that stands behind your product, Blickman, Anvil, whichever product fits your needs. You're gonna be dealing with some of the same people and they're awesome people. And this is just a courtesy. Wasn't I wasn't asked to do this video or anything like that. It was just something that I felt was well-deserved. And kudos to Blickman, kudos to Anvil, and thank you personally to Jared. Cheers. Don't forget to like, subscribe, keep sharing. Definitely appreciate the support. Thank you. I'm gonna go enjoy my beer.